Welcome back to another instalment in New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where today I will be talking about the Pycroft's petrel. I hope you enjoy. Pycroft's petrels are small seabirds that inhabit offshore islands off the northeastern coast of the North Island. Birds breed in colonies on these islands, that of which includes the Mercury, Hen and Chicken and Poor Knights Islands. Petrels are active at night at their breeding grounds, often calling repeatedly with pairs engaging in aerial chases. There is little information about their lives out at sea, however recent tracking studies have shown that birds mostly forage at the sea surface, picking off small crustaceans and squid. Birds have also been noted flying hundreds and even thousands of kilometres out to sea during a single trip, which is quite a distance for such a small bird that only weighs 150 grams. Birds nest in burrows amongst tree roots and rocks, usually being dug on well-drained slopes under forest cover. Pycroft's petrels breed from October to April, laying a single white egg in their burrow, with both parents taking incubation shifts and feeding their chick. Over an annual period, the same pair of birds can continually mate with each other to produce new chicks, but because of this, birds are vulnerable to introduced predators, due to their small clutch. The major threat to Pycroft's petrels and other gadfly petrels, the genus that the birds belong to, are introduced mammalian predators. Pacific rats ravaged the islands the birds bred on, but thankfully through several eradication programs the population of these small birds has increased over the years. The population on Red Mercury Island, as an example, increased rapidly after rats were eradicated in 1992 with an estimated 5,000 to 10,000 pairs now present, representing 75% of the population. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand Bird of the Week. For next time, you can vote for the Lyles Wren, a small extinct New Zealand wren species. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be. See you later!